mid-June, Wellington. With a water temperature of 53 degrees, there are nine starters in this year's race for the Devonport Cup. This 50-yard dash is held each year in the weekend nearest the shortest day, and only all-year-round swimmers may enter. They're making good time, and who wouldn't in that water? How's the water? Cold? No, you should be here when it's really cold. We use skates. When the Rimutaka arrived recently at Auckland in pouring rain, it brought the first party of children to come to New Zealand under the child migrant scheme. The Attorney General, Mr Mason, was there to welcome the children. Ranging in age from 7 to 18, they'll go to friends and relatives in all parts of the country. They've come halfway around the world to find a better life and are looking forward to getting to know their new land. At Upper Hutt recently, a new tyre factory covering three acres of ground was opened by the Prime Minister, Mr Fraser. The leader of the opposition, Mr Holland, was there and a large crowd of visitors. The visitors took the opportunity to look over the factory and see how tyres are made. With most of the capital contributed by New Zealanders, this factory will employ 500 men. When this and similar plants at Auckland and Christchurch are in full production, they'll fill 90% of our tyre and tube requirements. At Lake Ferry, desperate attempts are being made by the Wairarapa Catchment Board to cut a channel through the narrow spit to allow floodwaters banking up dangerously in Lake Wairarapa to drain into the sea. Heavy southerlies over the past few days have piled up the gravel and continue to do so in spite of all efforts to reopen the channel. The high seas make work hazardous and the struggle has to be temporarily abandoned, but the lake level's rising and another effort is made to liberate the floodwaters. With success in sight, men are put to work to stir up the silt in the channel bed so that the current will scar it out to a greater depth. With this help, the lake winds through and the water flows out to sea, in time to save the valuable farmlands in the lower Wairarapa from serious flooding. At about 9.45 a.m. on June 23rd, this suburban train was passing through Naharanga Station on its way to the Hutt Valley. Without warning, a heavy mobile railway crane swung round, bringing its platform directly in the path of the oncoming train. The left cylinder of the engine took the first impact of the collision and was shattered immediately. The Westinghouse brake pump was torn completely off the engine at the same time. The crane ripped through the row of wooden carriages from end to end, reducing one side to matchwood. Inspection of the wreckage and investigation as to the cause was immediately started and the Honourable R. Semple, Minister of Railways, was early at the scene. The crane driver had a remarkable escape, receiving only a slight knee injury. The total list of casualties was eight injured, one seriously. Some were able to go home after receiving medical attention on the spot the others were discharged from hospital after treatment. It was a slack period when the accident occurred and there were only 10 passengers on the train. At St Andrews College, 50 youth leaders are attending a 14 days autumn school in advanced theories of recreation and leadership. The students have come from each province under the auspices of the National Council of Churches and during their stay at St Andrews, they're looking after themselves. Staff officers of the Recreation Branch of Internal Affairs conduct the school, which includes debating, brains trusts, ballroom and national dancing, and recreation sports. Here's volleyball, a favourite with thousands of men in the second NZDF and becoming very popular in New Zealand. Tikau Barrett, Maori welfare officer for the South Island and a guest lecturer, conducts a Maori action song. The actions are perhaps not quite so graceful in the Pākehā. This old Māori stick game has a strong rhythmical appeal. The actions help you to think and act quickly in daily life. Here's some agility work, a triple roll. Most of us do this on a dance floor, but it's much faster out in the open. This is a rhythmical form of expression designed for women. It coordinates mind and body movements. Leaders are
are both born and made. This course is designed to develop qualities of leadership. Each trainee has been selected for advanced study from 350 other leaders trained by the Recreation Branch of Internal Affairs. Back in their towns, these young students will feel better equipped to encourage and organize outdoor leisure. In the quest for Miss New Zealand 1949, 13 finalists wait for Miss Nell Scanlon to announce the verdict. Skillful speech-making holds thousands in suspense at the ceremony and on the air until Miss Scanlon announces Miss Mary Woodward of Taranaki as Miss New Zealand of 1949. Chosen from 13 girls in New Plymouth and a further 13 in Wellington, Miss Woodward will leave New Zealand on the 13th of July. 13 must bring her luck, so we send her a baker's dozen of good wishes. On behalf of the Prime Minister, Mr Nash offers his congratulations. He seems very happy in his task. The crowd agrees with the judges, enthusiastically. It's just a girl in a satin gown walking down the aisle but the crowd are almost ready to mob her as she makes her triumphal progress out of Wellington Town Hall. And on Monday morning, she repeats her triumph in the streets of the capital city. People had little warning, but they were there just the same. The shops emptied in no time, and Miss New Zealand of 1949 had a foretaste of the receptions awaiting her. And now, let's hear what she thinks of it all. I'd like to say how very grateful I am to all the people who have helped me, first in New Plymouth and then in Palmerston North, and finally in Wellington. And also I'm especially grateful to the other candidates for their friendliness and sincerity. It's a great honor to be chosen as Miss New Zealand for 1949, and I assure you that I'll do my very best to do honor to our country while I'm away. Thank you. <laughs> 